What is up, my people? I am Jay Shady, and you are listening to The Voice of Reason. So I woke up today, and I was still checking YouTube, and I'm just bamboozled about um, this praise for Raw last night. Everybody's going nuts, saying it was a great show, it was awesome, you know, really good show. Best Raw in a while, and it sucked balls, you know. Last week was much fucking better than uh, last night. The, the show sucked. I don't understand where all this praise is coming from. Apparently, it's very happy to please people in the PG era. Um, you have, like, even the most uh, negative of YouTubers, people who are infamous for being negative about WWE and infamous for bashing WWE, saying that this was a good, great show or even an epic show. And I don't understand how you could possibly say that. I think you have to come down from that great main event cloud that you're in and rate the rest of the fucking show. I was getting shit all over the place. People bashed me for not saying this was the best show ever. Telling me, you, you don't appreciate anything you get. You get blood and you still have to criticize it. Why are you even watching? Um, first of all, I'll get into like, the whole thing with blood and why do I have to praise a fucking show if there's blood on it that doesn't make sense. And then... Um, why am I still watching? Because I've been watching wrestling since 1997. You know, I'm not going to stop watching just because last night's show was shit. You know, I said this in another video. It's because I've been watching all my life. And I just want to see this shit get better. So that stop with those fucking comments. The, why are you still watching if you don't like it? You know, it's like being a fan of a, a movie series. You know, being a fan of, let's say, like a, a Spider-Man or something. You know, you're a diehard Spider-Man fan. You're not going to stop watching Spider-Man because one movie was shit. So shut the fuck up with that comment already. All right. So I'm just going to look through the show and see what, what, um, was this really good? Was this a good show? Let's just go through this again really fast. The opening was Paul Heyman and Vince McMahon having a fight. And it wasn't even a fight. It lasted for 30 seconds. So there's a letdown right there. Then you get Brock Lesnar and Triple H brawling, and uh, Brock Lesnar got busted open all over the place. Yeah, that was good. That was exciting to see some blood. But, you know, am I going to say that a fucking show was five stars just because there was blood in one segment? Like, this is what I mean about, like, people over-exaggerate shit. When there's one good thing that happens, they think it means that the whole fucking rest of the show was good. Okay, there was blood in one segment. That doesn't make... The show is three hours. It has to be more good stuff than one uh, little blood spurt. Then you get Dolph Ziggler versus Ryback. This this match sucked. All it was was Ryback um, fucking uh, destroying Dolph Ziggler for 15 minutes. I mean, what was good about this? Then you get a boring fucking Punk promo. Rambling. He had no focus in this one. And you even have Punk people saying this was a good promo. What the... F Stop sucking this guy's dick. Then you get... Um, Great Holly versus Mark Henry, a squash match. You know, nothing good about, you know, a squash match. Then you get three fucking movie trailers. Okay, yeah. You know, everybody was bashing when they were doing the WWE app thing uh, a couple of weeks ago. And they're doing the same shit tonight with the movie trailers, though. Same shit last night. Then you get the Miz TV segment with uh, Alberto Del Rio, Zeb Coulter, Jack Swagger. This was good. This was, um, un other than the Triple H Brock Lesnar thing, this was another good thing. So we have two good things so far. All right? And now we're an hour into the show. Then you get Orton versus Cesaro. Boring fucking match. Stupid match. Pointless match. B not even average. Below average. Um, then you get a bunch of segments. Daniel Bryan versus Kane in the PG segment. Uh, corny. John Cena promo for a few good men from uh, WrestleMania 29. What the... Uh, WrestleMania 21. WrestleMania goes Hollywood. What the fuck? Sheamus uh, announcing the Oscar snubs in the tuxedo. Fucking PG kitty boring shit. Then you get uh, Cody Rhodes versus R Truth. Boring short match, you know. Nobody gives a fuck. Primetime players versus Team Hell No. Yeah, it was gimmicky. Yeah, there was a chuckle every now and then from Daniel Bryan being blindfolded. But was this a good match? No. Then you get a boring Shield promo. This had nothing to it. Randy Orton, RKO, Seth Rollins. I mean, what was great about this? Please tell me. I want to know. Then you get Jack Swagger versus The Miz. This wasn't even that good of a match. I mean, it was okay. It went on for a long time, but it wasn't that good. And then you get the John Cena inspirational uh, Hulkamania ripoff promo. 
Then you get Punk versus Cena. And that was good. And that was the last thing. Three fucking good things on three over three hours of Raw. So you people are so satisfied getting just one good thing an hour that you're going to say this was a great show and you're going to give me shit for saying the show sucked? So apparently all WWE has to do is give you one good thing for every hour. And about this Punk vs. Cena match, calm the fuck down for a second. You know, I have people uh, telling me that this is... um. That this is one of the best Raw matches ever. That this is Cena's best match ever. That this is, you know, one of the greatest matches of all time, period. Match of the year. Woo! Okay, easy there, fella. Easy. Easy, fella, hey. Okay? Best Raw match. One of the best Raw matches. Uh, did you just start watching this shit last week? If you did, then yeah, it was the best Raw match since you started watching last week. But, um, Jesus, I could just name... A couple at the top of my head that were better. TLC 2002. Um, fucking Kurt Angle versus uh, Chris Benoit and Steel Cage. Both of them do moonsaults, diving headbutts off the top of the Steel Cage. Um, Triple H versus uh, Cactus Jack. And if you want a better John Cena match at Raw, John Cena versus Shawn Michaels at Raw was much, much better than this, you know? it was This match was a slow match at, at the beginning. It was, even though it was picked up a lot in the last 10 minutes, it was still a good raw quality match. Their Money in the Bag match was much better than this one. You know, you had a couple botches from uh, from Cena, so uh, relax. I mean, yes, I, I did give credit to Cena, but one of the best matches. What the fuck are you drinking, buddy? You know, so there you go. Three good things. Blood. Um, Jack Swagger and the Miss TV thing. And the last match, that was a good quality Raw match, but not as great as you motherfuckers are going about this. Apparently, you know, a good match equals epicness in today's age. And I understand because our standards are so fucking low. But still, rule this shit objectively. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but... Uh, a little bit of blood and one pile driver on a show is going to make me fucking go crazy and say, Woo, this is the greatest time of my life. Oh my God, best role of uh, 20 years. You know, back then, they did more than just blood and pile driver in one spot. They did blood in, uh, blood in multiple matches. They did pile drivers in every match. They did uh, backstage brawls. You know, they, 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 did, um, <clears throat> they did fighting outside of the arena. They did a bunch of shit. They did exciting promos. Exciting matches, exciting, um, exciting fucking everything, exciting character work, a bunch of exciting characters. It's not just because there was blood and one fucking pile driver that this means it was like the greatest since the Attitude Era. You know, like I said, this shit is three fucking hours. The blood and pile driver lasted for all of, you know, one minute. So one minute is going to make this shit so fucking great. I'm sorry. That's not what the Attitude Era was about. The Attitude Era wasn't about just blood and pile drivers. It was about much more than that shit. So there you go. I'm sorry. I can't see how this shit is good. And I think if you people get off of that main event cloud that you are on, and when you realize that it was a good raw main event, but not one of the best matches ever, you'll realize this show fucking sucked. So there you go. There's my little rant. Jay Shady, voice of reason, spitting the truth, and I'll see you later.